Uh, our operations now are very much focused on the tower crane that you can see behind us uh, and doing what we can to make that safe. We're now working with specialist contractors to assess the damage that has been sustained to the crane and to do, as I say, what we uh, can do to make that safe. We will, of course, ultimately hand that over to the contractors to dismantle the crane uh, and bring this incident to a close. In the meantime, we will have to maintain a cordon around it, so I would echo what the police said about public cooperation and support and ask people to stay away from the area, if at all possible, uh, to allow us to maintain that cordon and obviously to allow this incident to be brought to a safe conclusion. What we can say about the stability of the crane is that at the moment there is no imminent risk of that crane collapsing. As I say, we are in the process of assessing that in detail. We'll continue to do that. We'll be working with specialist contractors who have that specialist knowledge and we will of course do what we can to make the scene safe.